Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. It's a joy to come and share with you these devotional moments. In the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, the prophet says, To a dark world, light has come. He says in verse 2, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. Light and darkness are important symbols in Scripture. Light symbolizes fellowship with a holy God, while darkness symbolizes separation and life apart from God. Isaiah looks through a prophetic telescope, and he can see some far-off divine event. He says that light is on the way to our darkness. What he was saying is that we needed someone who could bring order to our chaos. History has taught us that no human ruler can give help or hope for the evil that surges through the human heart. We are waiting 50 days from now to inaugurate a new president and we are moving to that event with great expectations. We have great hopes that the future will be better. But the reality is this, that which really plagues mankind cannot be legislated. That which plagues the human heart can only be dealt with by God and God alone. So he says, Jesus entered the arena of human conflict. John puts it this way. He says that the world, word became flesh and dwell among us. He came not under the authority and sponsorship of men, but at the behest of a holy God. Isaiah says in verse 6 of this ninth chapter, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. That child born, that son given, is the Lord Jesus Christ. And when Isaiah writes, unto us a child was born, that's Mary's contribution. But when he says, unto us a son is given, that was God's contribution. The child was born, but the son had to be given. And that's what makes the difference. It was the son that was given who brought light to our darkness. And as we enter this Christmas season... Christmas reminds us that light shines in our darkness. That as dark as the times may be in which we live right now, Jesus is still the light of the world. Isaiah goes on to say that his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Christmas reminds us that God loves us and that He gave His Son, Jesus Christ. He brought Him into this world that ultimately He would die on a cross on Calvary for our sins. Thank God for God's precious gift in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. God of grace and God of glory, as we enter this Christmas season, we thank you for that child that was born in Bethlehem. We thank you for your son who you gave to this world as a ransom for our lost souls. And, O oh Lord, as we celebrate this season, we celebrate you. We celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
I hope and trust you will remember our prayer calls Wednesday morning at uh, 7 a.m. and then Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Uh, our worship on Sunday, it begins with 8.45, our Sunday school review, followed by 9 a.m. worship. And this Sunday, following worship, we will gather on our parking lot to partake in the Lord's Supper. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season.